Does it need to be like the, the like official paper or? Oh, it's got it it's got to be paper of a uh, 38 millimeters, and it's got to be receipt paper. I actually oh. got receipt paper that wasn't thermal paper, and uh, it didn't work. Ah. Anyway, it's Game Boy Camera. It fits into any Game Boy. You can animate it, then with a printer, you can print it out and stick it wherever you want. We call it photography. The Game Boy printer was among many peripheral devices for the Nintendo Game Boy. Other peripheral devices included the Super Game Boy, Link Cables, the Battery Pack, the Handy Boy, the E-Reader, Sewing Machines. There was also a keyboard peripheral that went unreleased. Similar devices include the Neo Geo Print Photo Booth, which is only found in arcades for a brief period. There was also the Pokemon Snap Printing Stations and Blockbusters all over the country, which was probably the most exciting thing about the game. Speaking of Pokemon Snap, new version already out for Switch, Fujifilm Instamax printers will enable with the Nintendo Switch so you can print from Switch games, including Super Mario World 3D and Animal Crossing. The printer was released alongside the Game Boy camera so you can print out photos of your uh, face and all the blurry images you can photograph. It was like having a printer in your hand. It made you a walking photo booth. The paper at the time was special sticker paper Nintendo released. Since then, the paper has degraded, and it is recommended that you use 38mm thermal receipt paper. You can get it off Amazon or retro specialty sites, or your nearest taxi cab. From 1998 to 2001, there were a handful of Game Boy games released for the Game Boy Color that had printer functionality. Play the games, accomplish any of the necessary functions, and print out unique images. The Wikipedia page lists 39 games with print functionality, not counting 1942, and more games from Japan released at the time, including Namco's Fails of Fantasia. I own like three Game Boy printers, including the special Pikachu edition, so I figured I should go more in depth with what the Game Boy printer could print. So here's my top 10 images you can print with a Game Boy printer. Number 10, Mickey Speedway USA. Throughout this game, Mickey and his friends race across the USA to get Pluto back from the Gang of Weasels. When you finish races, you can print postcards for that represent real places. The printable image that makes this list is the driver's license. Beat the tutorial, print your license, and bring it with you when you go on the Roger Rabbit taxi ride at Disneyland. Number 9. Harvest Moon 2. In this cute farming simulator, you can print out fish, plants, bugs, and events. Any event would make this list. But the one that stands out is your birthday. It's the game wishing you a happy birthday. So make it a good day, print out your birthday. Number eight, The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX. The DX version, a black case, is the updated version of Link's Awakening for Game Boy. One edition is going to the photo hut run by a rat who likes to take photos. There are a total of 13 photos that can be unlocked one that makes this list is... Is the one called, Are You Proud of Yourself? You get this by stealing from Mabe's Village Shop and, and the photographer Rat takes your photo. I put this on the list because if you steal from Mabe, well then your name is changed to Thief. Number seven, Donkey Kong Country. A port of the Super Nintendo game, that is just as much of a challenge. If you want to unlock all the printable photos, you have to play the game three different times under different circumstances. In order to unlock all the photos, you must collect green bananas, six in each circumstance. The photo that stands out here is Donkey Diddy Rambi acting like it's Christmas. Merry Congo Bongo Holidays when you print that. Number six, Asteroids. This game is an upgrade from the arcade shooter with more detailed sprites and sounds. The real achievement here is completing the game and being able to print out a certificate of reward. Great work for beating the game. Two games that had print support were the two Austin Powers games that were released at the time of the second Austin Powers movie, The Spy Who Shagged Me. What can you print? That's the disappointment. Only text from the notepad functions. It's Austin Powers! Why couldn't we print Austin? Dr. Evil! Scott! Number two! That guy who plays Mr. Ditkovich! and many more characters, or even Dr. Evil's Volcano Lair. The makers of this game, they also made Grand Theft Auto, 
and the Muppets for Game Boy Color. Both those boxes said there was printer support enabled, but that's nowhere to be found in either of those games. Rockstar, you dropped the ball in the Game Boy printer. Number 5. Super Mario Deluxe. Like Link's Awakening DX, this is the deluxe version of the original Super Mario Brothers. There are about 100 images to print. Really great images. Mario with fireworks, Mario and Luigi playing games, two parts of Bowser, gray sprites that look like they're for the original game for the NES, a coin, a raking list, being able to print things you type in different uh, templates. This game has a lot of achievements. Out of 100 unique images, which one makes the list? Well, this is my list and I can include multiple images in the same number slot. So I'm going to go with those medals. When you finish the right levels, print these medals out and add them to your Mario cosplay like you were, they were given to you by the military. Number 4. Quest for Camelot. This one is a surprise on this list. This game is based on the anime movie from 1998 about King Arthur, a headstrong female looking to be a knight, and some dragons. It's kind of a cheap Zelda type game. When a still image from the movie appears, you can print with a select button. Keep in mind that you can print Merlin at the end when you collect every item in every stage. Though it's not Merlin that makes this list, it's when you die. And you see the evil knight, Rubeer, voiced by Gary Oldman, smiling at you with the words, Game Over. That's why it makes this list, because it has got to be the only Game Over screen you can print. Game Over is an achievement in Quest for Camelot. Number 3. Pokemon Trading Card Game. The handheld game based on the ever popular trading card game has a total of 228 cards to collect, use in trading card games, and they can print them out. Which one makes this list? Well, it's just not any card, but being able to print out any card, make a deck, and then play Pokemon trading card game with the prints. Any card you can print out makes this list. Print the cards with your friends, and have a tournament style match. And there's also a sequel that's exclusive to Japan that has 217 new cards. If you want to play that English, buy it on eBay. Number 2. Pokemon Yellow has a total of 151 Pokemon to collect and then print. There's also the Pikachu Surf game that requires Pokemon Stadium for the Nintendo 64, where you can print the high scores. There's also a photo booth where you can print Pokemon stats. And Gold, Silver, and Crystal Gen 2, you can print up to 251 Pokemon and individual unknowns. If you manage to capture all the Pokemon in both games, not counting Mew, all that hard work will pay off when you visit the graphic designer at Game Freak, and he'll print you out a diploma. Yeah, that's right, catching all the Pokemon can take a long time. So you get that reward in the form of a diploma. Man, it must take longer to get a Pokemon diploma than a Master's in Computer Science or Zoology. Honorable Mentions Alice in Wonderland and Tarzan will let you create your own scenes. I turn those into short films. Check them out in the, in the description. E.T. Digital Companion and Mary Kay and Ashley Pocket Planner are productive games for taking notes with mini games. In Mary Kay and Ashley, you can print, who else, different photos of Mary Kay and Ashley and her dog Clue. E.T. has printable stills from the movie, of course. The image that really stands out in this game is the image of Earth, which is the famous blue marble that was taken by NASA and has become the most used photograph in history, thanks Al Gore. Unlike Pokemon Pinball, which only has high scores to print, the Little Mermaid 2 Pinball Frenzy went further by having 16 images of characters, 16 images for completing mi mini-games, and 16 images for losing at the mini-games. Still doesn't beat Ruber's Game Over screen. Clax has an unlockable feature featuring the developers' faces on cartoon bodies. Fun fact, Clax has hit a Will You Marry Me message from one of the developers who programmed it for his girlfriend. Little Nicky will allow you to make the devil's face. Perfect Dark has unlockable characters that can be printed. Take that, N64 and Xbox 360 re-release. Disney's Dinosaur is worth mentioning for having printable dinosaurs that look more real on paper than in the movie. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 has unlockable moves being done by Hawk. Don't want to play the game itself? Cheat codes are easy to look up. Number 1. What could number 1 be? It is everything. The Game Boy camera is what helped sell the Game Boy printer. It would make you your own photo booth. Take a photo of your face, print it out. Take a photo of your friend's face, print it out. Add a Mew. Your popularity grows. 
Is something too far away? Get a smartphone telescope or a 3D printed attachment to mount on a Canon lens. Want to save those pictures from your Game Boy camera? Print it out and scan it. Want to transfer them digitally? There are devices that use the printer's printer protocol. From there, put those black and white images in a slicer and 3D print them. If you have red, green, and blue lenses, use those to capture three of the same photo, put them in Photoshop or GIMP, then create a colored photo. Expect the results not guaranteed. When you have a Game Boy camera, the world is your game.